Hi, it's Miss Jennikin. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Sometimes I forget what day it is until I look at the calendar, huh? Does it ever happen to you? Anyway, um, today for reading, we are going to be reading a informational book. An informational book is a teaching book. And so when we read a teaching book, it's not just to read for fun um, or to learn sight words. A teaching book teaches us something, right? So can you look at the cover of this book and tell me what this book might be teaching us about? How can the cover give us a hint? The pictures, I see a snake and a lizard or a, a something like that. And it also looks like they are, what habitat are they in? Like a savanna or the dry lands. We could also read the title. It says, Wild Reptiles. Can you say that? Wild Reptiles. Snakes, crocodiles, lizards, and turtles. So this book is going to teach us all about reptiles. Okay? And also when we read, we're going to be looking at some, um, some things that teaching books do in the book to help us. And those are called text features. Cool, huh? <laughs> All right, let's get started. Okay. Oh, of course, and it's by the Wild Kratts, right? <laughs> so the Kratt brothers are going to use their creature powers to slither with snakes, snap with crocodiles, and much more. All right. Imagine if you could do what reptiles do. If you could crawl, climb, or slither just like them. Think in your mind a lizard or a reptile, like a turtle or crocodile, any kind of reptile that you might be. If you were a wild crat, what would you want to transform into? But what are reptiles? I think this page is going to tell us what reptiles are, huh? Yeah. Most reptiles hatch from eggs. That's one fact that we learned about reptiles, that they hatch from eggs. Reptiles have scales. Yeah, scales, like a snake, right? Oh, look, maybe we can get Snakey down and he can help us. This is Snakey from my classroom. My um, students named him, so very creative name. Snakey, if he wasn't a stuffed animal, would have what on his body? Would he have fur? No, he's a reptile, so he would get scales. Awesome. Here, maybe I'll just wear Snakey for a little bit. Here, I'll put him on this side so we can see everybody. All right. Reptiles are cold-blooded. That means they need the sun to get warm. Crocodiles and alligators, lizards, snakes, and turtles are all reptiles. Okay, so what did we learn from this page? What did the book teach us? Reptiles hatch from eggs, they have scales, and they are cold-blooded, so they need the sun to keep them warm. All right, very cool, huh? So far we're learning so much about snakes, croc crocodiles, lizards, and turtles from this informational book. Let's learn more about them. Activate creature powers. Say it with me one more time because that's just too much fun. Activate creature powers. What are they transforming into first? Oh, rattlesnakes. So here's a text feature that a lot of informational texts will use, and it's a title. Just like a title of a book, this is the title of this part or chapter, and it's all about rattlesnakes. You can tell this is the title because it's big, it's at the top, and it's in bold, okay? Rattlesnakes. <laughs> a rattlesnake has special scales on its tail. Special scales on its tail. The scales are used to make a rattling sound. Can you try to make a rattling sound? <sighs> yeah. 
The sound is a warning that the snake wants to be left alone. So if you ever hear a rattling sound when you're out hiking, it might mean that you're getting too close to a rattlesnake, huh? Rattlesnakes have long fangs. Fangs are teeth, fangs. They use their fangs to catch food and defend themselves. Venom comes through the fangs when they strike. The venom is poisonous, watch out! Martin warns a coyote. So they've got sharp fangs with venom and they've got special scales on their tail that rattle. That's what we learned about rattlesnakes so far. Okay, here's the next reptile we're gonna learn about. Crocodiles, do you see the title? The Nile crocodile is one of the biggest reptiles. It's not afraid of hippos and lions that also use the river. A Nile crocodile has more than 60 teeth. Open wide, says Chris. Wow, so crocodiles are one of the biggest and they've got more than 60 teeth. That's definitely more teeth than Miss Janikin has. Can you count how many teeth you have? <laughs> A mother crocodile is gentle with her babies. She watches over them and protects them. She even carries them carefully in her jaws. Oh, did you know that? That the mother crocodile carries her babies in her mouth? This is a fun way to travel, says Martin. Wow. The next reptile is the Draco lizard. A Draco lizard has wing-like structures that unfold from its sides to help it move through the air. Look how crazy that thing is, huh? <laughs> it can glide from tree to tree, jump, glide, land. Dracos make it look easy. I need more practice, said Chris. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that skin that comes out from the side so that it can uh, glide through the air. Flying lizards. Ooh, look at this lizard is called a basilisk lizard. Many reptiles swim. Only one can run on top of the water. A basilisk lizard. Look at it running on top of the water. The basilisk lizard has big webbed feet. Is there another animal that we learned about that has webbed feet? It's got webbed feet, so its feet move so fast it can run across the water without sinking. Wait for me, shouts Chris. Wow. Learning so much about reptiles from this book, huh? Ooh, what's this chapter gonna be about? Gila monsters. These lizards mostly live underground. They only come up for sun, water, and food. Nice to get out once in a while, says Martin. All right, this one's about rock pythons. What's a rock python? What kind of reptile is it? Can you tell by the picture? A snake. A python is a constricting snake. Go like this and say constricting. <gasps> It wraps around its prey and squeezes. Then it swallows it whole. Rock pythons live in holes in the African savanna. They eat gazelles and warthogs. Want me to untangle you now, said Martin. If you've ever seen the Jungle Book and you remember the snake, Ka, how it wraps around Mowgli, that's probably a rock python, huh? Geckos, I love geckos. My cousins have a pet or had a pet gecko that they named Rocky. Geckos, geckos are small lizards with a big creature power. A gecko has special toes, special toes that can hold on to almost any surface, even glass. Do you have special toes that can crawl like a lizard? Like a gecko? <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite reptiles, turtles. 
Turtles, there are more than 300 different kinds of turtles and tortoises with one creature power in common, a shell. It helps to protect them when they're in danger. The tortuga is shaped like a turtle. It protects the wild crats. And tortuga means turtle in Spanish. What's this one about? It's not crocodiles, because what's the beginning letter? Alligators, that's right. Alligators are related to crocodiles, but they have wide snouts. A snout is a nose. Alligators have wide snouts. Crocodiles have pointy, narrow snouts. Wide, narrow. Alligators are grayish black. Crocodiles are brownish green. Both creatures can grow very big. Later, gator, said Chris. In a while, crocodile, Martin replies. Go creature powers. I hope you enjoyed our teaching book, Wild Reptiles, Snakes, Crocodiles, Lizards, and Turtles. And I hope you learned a little something about reptiles. Okay. Till next time. <laughs> See you later, alligator. <laughs>